built up his business and community over the next decade. In 1856, he wrote a letter to a supporter from Scotland named Eliza Wiggum. He told her a story about a strong and enigmatic young woman of his acquaintance, whom he greatly admired. She came into our store and asked for me, he said. She was directed to the back counting house where I was writing. I said to her, Harriet, I am glad to see thee. Thee looks much better than when I last saw thee. Her reply was, yes, I thank you. I am now well, and God has sent me to you for money. <laughs> I said, Harriet, how is this? I expected thee would want a new pair of shoes, as usual, when thee has been on a journey. These I can give thee, but thee know I have a great many calls for money from the colored people, and thee cannot expect much money from me. Her reply was, you can give me what I need now. God never fools me. I said, well, Harriet, how much does thee want now? She said it would take three and a half shillings to get shoes for herself and the friends she had with her to pay their expenses to Philadelphia, and she must have 20 shillings more to enable her to go for her sister and children, making 23 and a half in all. I said to her, Harriet, has thee been to Philadelphia lately? No, not for several weeks, she said. Has anybody told thee that I had money for thee? No, nobody but God. Then I gave her the 24 shillings and 31 cents, the proceeds of the five pounds thee sent her, and gave her an account of where it came from and how thee came to get it forward to her, after which she said, thank God. <laughs> 